waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. Tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. Pass the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Hello, everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. And guys, as I promised on my last video, it is time to keep talking about the Erica Jane show because today we are diving on it, you know, on a series of videos because there is so much to talk. But you know me, I'm not into doing like hours long videos. We're just like fast and quick, you know, and I'm just going to give you the tea and then keep moving on. All right. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Okay, so let's continue with this saga. We already know what Lisa Reyna did, you know, at the beginning. And now we have actual information, actual tea on what happened on La Quinta. And why Erica is feeling all kind of ways, okay? Now, I still don't understand why Garcelle asking about, not like revealing that Tom still calls Erica is such a big deal, you know? But because that was the whole thing, you know? That was the whole like, oh, you betrayed my friendship and please have your moment. It's like, Bitch, she's not showing us the receipts of the money that you have been stolen from orphans and widows, okay? She's just saying that Tom is still calling you. So, like, what's the big deal? Now, this is the thing. Apparently, okay, remember that scene when, you know, they are finally leaving the weird desert hike, right? And they just, they are just showing the back of Crystal, Garcelle, and Erica, you know. And that's when they reveal, you know, that, oh, yeah, uh, Tom still calls me and blah, 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 you know. But it's just like, honestly, it's just not such not a big deal. But anyways, that was when it was revealed, right? Okay, so the thing is that act, that the conversation actually didn't happen at that moment everything is just a game of edit you know like they edit the moment to make it seem like it was right there the actual truth is that that conversation happened in private after they were filming with the only difference that they that crystal or the ladies itself all the three of them they didn't know they, their mics were still on. And, you know, the mics cap, capture the whole moment and the whole conversation. And as you learn from other franchises, you know, like Atlanta, uh, what, what happened with Volo, you know, and all this, everything that is heard while the mics are on or the cameras are on, it becomes bravo's property and they can do whatever the fuck they want with that so the point is that they thought that they already stopped filming but they didn't know that the mics were still on and so they have that conversation okay now because that what they were saying wasn't captured on camera what bravo did was they used that footage of them walking away from their backs and add the sound to make it seem like they were having that conversation right there. But that conversation didn't happen. And you actually can kind of can see it, you know, especially at the end. You can see um, Garcelle like turns for a little, you know, and her lips are moving like she's saying something. But the audio is actually not showing anything so if it's a little like a microsecond right there i saw it today and i was like yeah that's definitely <clears throat> one of the proof so anyways the point is that bravo you know kind of play everyone um 
which again it's not like i'm really upset about it you know it wasn't like really that deep you know it's not like erica was confessing to be guilty about everything and that the actual proof you know like who cares if tom is calling you or not right <coughs> so the point is that after that um they went into the car you know and Crystal had another conversation with Erica, you know, as they said, where basically Erica told Crystal that she didn't want to have that conversation of Tom calling her anymore, especially in front of the other ladies. Like, she wanted to just let it go. But Garcelle was not part of that conversation. We know that Crystal said it. Crystal repeated on Watch What Happens Live. You know, so Garcelle actually didn't mean to to do it like i mean she didn't knew that erica didn't want to have that out there now the thing is that the producers they actually listened to that moment so they knew that erica didn't want that to be brought back again and they went ahead and pushed garcelle to bring the conversation back in front of the ladies now how it works is not that like the producer is going to sit down and tell you, hey, Garcel, I want you to sit down with the girls and ask this question because that's not how it works. Producers put a seat inside your mind, you know, and rile you up. So you make a conscious choice, you know, so they, they might be telling you, oh, uh, so uh, we, uh, what, what about this? Also, Tom told about that. Oh, no, mom, that's very interesting. You know, I wonder like what, what, what the ladies are, are thinking about that. You know, because of this. Oh, blah blah blah. You know, so they try to write you up. So in Garcelle's mind, she is like, yes. I mean, I wonder what Kyle is gonna think that uh, about this. You know, I mean, plus it's such not a big deal at the end of the day. Like, who cares? So <clears throat> they had a conversation with Garcelle and apparently according to the rumors they talked to Garcelle in three different times after the original conversation long enough to make Garcelle finally being like yes you know what I'm gonna ask the ladies about what Tom, what they think about Tom still calling Erica so basically Garcelle took the bait and went on with the conversation you know which you know when that happened is like gold go happening go finding right there you know because it's like yes she did it she did it i mean we it's fine because you know that you're gonna get a reaction from erica now erica also like the whole reaction is just too much so i have to agree with student if you are guilty, you do not... I'm sorry. If you are innocent, you do not react that aggressively towards something so stupid. Okay? There is some always something um, behind that. Okay? Usually, people who react with anger is because they think that... Other people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, no!" Because she is so angry, she she must be innocent. I mean, she didn't knew or she didn't uh, like that, you know. But it's not like that. Actually, your subconscious is trying to put that wall out there of angerness, but it's actually hiding the fact that you know she did something. You know what I mean? I hope I I, I, I explain that right. So, <clears throat> if someone is saying the truth. They usually don't get that angry is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I'm with Sudan. Sudan said it herself, like, why she gets so, so angry about Tom calling her? Especially since she is saying, I'm not taking her calls, his calls. So if she's not taking his calls, who cares? Who the fuck cares that Tom is calling her day and night? Or, or that she has to call the lawyers and to ask... Tom to please stop calling her. But anyways, um, so, oh, okay. So apparently 
So yeah, anyways, that was the next piece of this thing that we're still trying to understand. So let me know what you think in the comments below, okay? Um, do you think it was a big deal? Honestly, that Garcelle brought up the calls? I personally, I don't think it was a big deal. I don't think what is the problem. I don't think, I don't understand it. Uh, but do you think that it was a big deal? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. And I always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.